Well, the discovery of the state's first chronic wasting disease in wild deer last month has DNR officials and hunters on alert. While the fatal brain disease affects only deer, elk, and moose, it does not mean that people shouldn't take precautions as well. Carol Evans' Renee Tessman has more. It's a disease that causes deer to behave abnormally, waste away, and die. And now that the U of M Veterinary Diagnostic Lab has found a case in Minnesota's wild deer herd. Well, we got our first positive from a Minnesota wild deer. There's new concern. And now new research in the Journal of Biological Chemistry suggests it may be possible chronic wasting disease, or CWD, could someday be passed to humans, just like mad cow disease. At this point, we really have no evidence that CWD has Done that. It doesn't jump that species barrier. And that species barrier is pretty high. Jeff Bender, uh, director of the U of M Center for Animal Health and Food climate. Safety, says chronic wasting disease like mad cow is caused by an infectious brain protein called a prion, not a bacteria or a virus. This sample from the first wild deer shows the prions in pink. Bender says researchers believe CWD would have to circulate in a herd for quite a while in order for it to adapt and jump to humans. So I think that this highlights the need to continue to, to uh, go along those roads to reduce that in the, in the wild and the domestic population. The University of Minnesota Veterinary Diagnostic Lab has tested 35,000 wild deer over the past eight years for chronic wasting disease, and the first one they found was this past January. Or would I throw away the medicine in your freezer? No. Right now, Bender thinks there's little risk to humans. Still, he says, take precautions, wear gloves when you butcher a deer, and cut away from the spine. The key message is to avoid high-risk tissues. So don't eat brain, don't eat spinal cord, don't eat eyeballs. With good monitoring of Minnesota's deer herd, he thinks the chances of CWD jumping to humans is rare. Renee Tessman, CARE 11 News. DNR is going to be holding a public meeting in Pine Island next Monday on managing chronic wasting disease in the deer population. And you can find details on our website, care11.com.